got two of them wrong. 13 and 21. Sebastian, you alive? You sit up all night? Whoa, okay. All right, so let's put your phones up for a minute. We're just going to do the front side on this worksheet. We'll save the back for later. You don't need your unit circles out to do this. All you need is a calculator. Make sure, does anybody have an extra calculator here? All right, some of this is going to be really, really easy. Everybody look at number one. All you have to do is type in sign on your calculator of 72. Where's that? Sign is right here. Look, you got sign, cosine, tangent, all right there. Hit sine 72. Let's go to four decimal points on this. Sine of 72 is. So I've got 0 0.9511. Check behind me, make sure you got that. I got one zero. All right, let's round up the fourth oh. number. If the fifth, num fifth number is five or higher, We'll round that zero up and make it a one. That's your answer. That's all you do on number one, two, and three. That's all you do. Just type it in. Yep, leave it as a fraction. Cosine of 120 is, what'd y'all get? Negative one over two. That'll work. If it's a decimal, let's go to four decimal places. All right, type in number three. No, no tangent of 57 is. I got 1.5399. Somebody check that. All right, are we good? Everybody's good on one, two, and three, right? Jeremiah. No, oh, okay. Somebody didn't clear your calculator and put it back in the green mode. I bet it's in red mode. Yep, there it is. See, it says R A D. Got to make sure it's in degree mode. Now it will give you the right answer. Thank you. All right, number four. Something's different in four, five, and six. All right. Well, it's a fraction, but it's got it's got a pi. Watch this, guys. If you type that in your calculator, what does it give you? Sine of pi over three is all right, it gave me 0.01827, right? Mm -hmm. That is wrong. That's the wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do we use the calculator to get the right answer? Here's what you do. If it's got a pi in it, then it's a radian number. And your calculator has to be put in radian mode before you can type in and find the answer for that radian number. So, everybody go to the mode button at the top of your calculator. All right, everybody arrow over one place to rad, R-A-D, that's radian, and hit enter. Now, when you do that, it should change up in the top right-hand corner from degree to radian. So let's do that. All right, hit enter. I'm blind. Yeah. So now after that, you hit clear, and now you can type your number in. So now I can go and type in sine of pi over 3. And it gives me root 3 over 2, and that will be the correct answer. So if you don't put it in radian mode, you're going to miss 4, 5, and 6 on the test. Let's try it and see. What degree is it? All right, so it's in radian mode. It says RAD at the top, so now you click. All right, so now type in number 5 the same way you typed in number 4. Guys, it will stay in radian mode. Unless you change it back to degree mode. How do you get T-bone and all that? I'll show you. Cosine of 4 pi over 3. Sarah, what would you get on number 5? Uh, negative 1 half. What I got. All right, number 6. I got tangent of 2 pi over 5. Mallory, what you got on number 6? Go ahead. That's what I got. Read it to me. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
Everyone getting those correct answers? Do I need to come help anybody at your desk? All right, now let's go to number seven. And what do you notice? Well, I don't have degree, I don't have pies anymore, guys. I don't have radian numbers anymore. I've got degrees. So now we've got to change it back into degree mode. Yeah, I'm going to go with this degree mode. So, Sarah, you can either go back to the mode button and do that. Guys, the fastest way to change it back, take your pencil, hit the reset button in the back of the calculator. When you reset it, it automatically goes back to degree okay. mode. All right, so if you'll just hit the reset button on the back, it should say memory cleared and everything is reset. You get your set? Yep, it's good. All right, so now we got another problem on 7, 8, and 9, and Sarah's already brought this up. Guys, you can't type in secant of 112. How come? No, not a button for secant. So here's how we're going to have to do it. There's not a button for secant, but there is a button for the opposite of secant, or the inverse. So now, Mallory, we're going to do it with cosine instead of secant. Here's how you do it. You'll do 1 over cosine of 112, and that's the same as punching in secant. What? That is stupid. All right, since we don't have a button for secant, you got to do it with the inverse of secant, which is cosine, and you do it that way. 1 over cosine of 1, 1, 12. A lot of positive vibes from you guys today. Not at all. I appreciate it. <laughs> Negative 2.6695. Check that and make sure that's what everybody gets when you type it in. Those things we believe, though. Let's stay typing. <coughs> go back to sleep, Jim. There's not okay. a shortcut. Go back to sleep. Can I go to sleep? I'm never falling asleep. Can you tell me Nope. Look how I did the first one. I got the one on top and the cosine of one show on the yeah. bottom. She has to put the oh. one on top. Yeah. You're a best sign. <laughs> Mallory, you sound like the rest of that bunch now. Maybe it's enough. You sound like Sarah and Jenna. Well, this is actually dumb. All right, so well, guys, you got to know how to type this stuff in the calculator. I know, but you we don't have a button for cosecant, so what are we going to do? We're going to use the opposite, which is sine. You got to do it this way: one over sine of two twelve. One's got to be on top all by itself. Sine of two twelve has to be on the bottom. I got negative one point eight eight seven one. See if everybody else gets that. All right, so y'all should be able to do number nine with no problem then. Do nine? No. Now I have to get back. One over oh, tangent. I do quite. Cotangent. Um, Mark, what's your answer for number nine, Mark? Read it to me. Negative point nine zero zero four. All right, so does anybody have a question on seven, eight, or nine? All right, we can go to number 10, right? Mm -hmm. so all we're doing is the front of this worksheet, guys. We're not doing the back today. All right, number 10, somebody has already seen one problem that we have. Yes, you've got pi, so we've got to change it back to radian mode. Because anytime you want to enter a pi in, and get an answer for it in your calculator. It's got to be in radian mode. So, everybody right now, hit mode, arrow over one time the radian, and hit enter. When you do that, then you'll have to clear the screen so you can plug in a problem. All right, so that was the first problem that we handled. The second problem is we don't have a button for cosecant, remember, so what do we have to use instead? Sign. we got to use sign. So, remember, you put one on top all by itself, and the bottom is sign negative 3 pi over 8. That will give us the answer. 1 over sine negative 3 pi over 8. Alright, who's got an answer? I've got negative 1 point 0 0.0824. Anybody else get that? Alright, so we're good. And is that right? Yeah, I get it. Ellie, did you get that? Uh oh. You put for 
parentheses? I did put parentheses. Do you have to? I would think so, but I don't know for sure. Yes, because you'll get like negative 48. Sarah, do I need to come look at yours or is Mallory got you? I wish we could just like... Did you put it in radian mode? I had to try to find an option. Okay, sign. Thank you. All right, I can go to number 11. I wish we could do it like this. It would be so much easier. No, you don't get the same answer. All right, so Eric on number 11. I don't have a button for seeking. Eric, what do I have to use instead? Got to use cosine. So we go 1 over cosine of negative 3 pi over 16. I'm guessing this is going to be a decimal. 1 over cosine negative 3 pi over 16. Got one point two zero two seven. Somebody check my answer. You're wrong. I've messed up several times before. <laughs> All right. So now try twelve. I'm not even going to write it down. I'm just going to punch it in. So it'd be one over tangent of three times four. Negative. I got negative one for this one. Okay. We don't have a button for secant, so when you change it and use the inverse of secant, which is cosine, you have to put it on the bottom under one. That's part of yeah. switching trig functions from here to here. Yeah, but that one does have one. So you just do that anyways. Or? But this one has one on top. So when you flip it, it has one on the bottom. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying tan and cot or whatever doesn't matter. Okay, have one. yeah. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. By switching from tangent, or sorry, cotangent to tangent, okay, that's where the one comes in. It doesn't have to be in the formula. When you switch it, the one has to go on top. All right, so guys, we're going to 13. Now, everybody has to reset your calculator again or put it back in degree mode. So I'm going to hit mode, degree, enter. Put it back in degree mode to do the last six at the bottom. All right, everybody read your instructions. I'm going to read the instructions above 13. Everybody follow along with me. It says use a calculator to find the value of x in degrees, minutes, and seconds. All right, look, your calculator has a button that does that for you. The button is DMS. All right, degrees, minutes, and seconds. I'm going to show you where that is. So first thing we have to do, we've got to solve for x. So I'm going to make something up like a regular equation. If we had that, just a standard math equation, what happens to plus 3 when I move it over? Subtract. It becomes a minus 3. You do the opposite or you do the inverse, right? Okay. Everybody knows how to do that. What's going to happen with cosine when I move it over? It becomes cosine negative 1. Everybody write that down for me. When you move cosine from the left side to the right side, you have to do the opposite, which is inverse cosine or cosine negative 1. Now, we need to find that button on our calculator first so we can get started. You just can't type it? Where is second. cosine negative 1? You have to second. Yep. Look, on the calculator, here's cosine. Right above it in green is cosine negative 1 or inverse cosine. So that's what you've got to type in. Cosine negative 1. Are you ready? We're going to type this in right here. I do second cosine. You see how it puts a negative 1? Then type in your number. Do we get to the fourth? Second cosine 0 0.0612. All right, don't write this down. Everybody just look at it. I got 86.4913. Did everybody get that? Yeah. Now, don't write that down because that's not your answer. Oh. Sarah, they want your answer written in degrees, minutes, and seconds. This is where we now have to hit the DMS button. Hey, Karen. Yes. I 
need Brie Tankersley to sign out, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, so where's the DMS button? I'm going to show you. Does everybody see this button right here that says PRB, probability? Right above it says angle. That's what we need to hit. So I've got to hit second so I can hit angle. Everybody do that. All right, now, look at the top. It says DMS, but we've got to be able to highlight that. You can scroll down to number six. Everybody scroll down to number six. Are you all that? I'm not finished there. If you'll hit enter and then hit enter again, it puts your number in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So I'm going to show you all a faster way to do it next time. So I got 86 degrees, 29 minutes, and 29 seconds because I rounded my 28 up to 29. All right, so let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's go back. Let's type this in again. I'm going to make it easier for you this time around. Go back and type that in again, okay? Cosine negative 1, 0 0.0612, and hit enter. All right, stop. All right, now. Go back and let's hit second angle. And guys, instead of scrolling down this time, just go hit number six in your calculator and it goes straight to DMS. And then you can hit enter and it gives you the answer. Wait. I'm not going to lie, you got me being I hate bathroom breaks. Can we stop having bathroom breaks? Every time we when you hit enter, you got your answer. Now for your DMS button, hit second angle, and it gives you lots of options. I just want you to hit six because it goes straight to DMS. Enter. Show run. All right, so anybody else want me to show you on the calculator? Eric, you good? Do I need to show anybody how I hit the DMS button? What's the first type of problem in cosine negative one point zero six? All right, can we go to 14? How would you do a little? Can we go to the next one? Right, well, let's keep, let's do some more and we'll understand. Yeah, I'll come do the next one for you too. All right, let's go to the next one, which is 14. All right, it says sine of x is negative point one 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 one. All right, so the first thing we have to do, guys, what's going to happen with sine when I move it over here? How does it change? Good, it becomes sine negative one, right? Write that down. All right, now I need y'all to type that in. Sine negative one, inverse sine of negative point one 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 one. All right, so let's type that in, Madison. Sine negative one. Second sine. No, it's not over. All right, now type the number negative point four one. Stop. Um, Look, four one. I'll go sit on something and do something. No, you gotta hit negative for the minus. I hate this. Point. And I mentioned that I hate this. One 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 one. Hit enter. Okay, ready? So now we want to change that to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So second angle. Now, it has lots of them on here. All right, we want that number six, DMS. So look, all you gotta do is hit six, it brings it up, and then hit enter. All right, what did y'all get for an answer on 14? Anybody brave enough to share your answer? Negative six. Negative six, okay. Negative point one 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 DMS. All right, I got negative six degrees, 22 minutes, 43 seconds. Check that before I go to the next one. Make sure you know how to bring it up. Paisley, Zoe, we good? Where did you get that? Let me 
show you how I got? Oh, okay. With Once you get here, it, oh. it says put it in degree in minutes and seconds. Watch. Second angel is going to straighten the number six instead of just scrolling down. That brings up the new Okay, so I've never done this one. I'm not filming. Yeah, stop. i got to show you that. Yeah. Don't trust me. You want to stop on that. I'm going to show you a shortcut on that one. I just want to know if, how to not get doing it. All right, so that's what I got on 15. You guys try 15 real quick. That's what I got first block. And let's see if that is, I'm sure that's the correct answer. Second 10, .8491. And then hit DMS. 40, 20, and 5. Yep. Round the 4 up to a 5 if the number after it's 5 or higher. Why do you have to wait? Please mark the center option. I need Miss Middleton's 11th grade homeroom to come to the 100 hall at this time. All right. I want to go ahead, guys. Let's jump down to 18. It's the same kind of problem. All right, everybody jump down to 18. So, Ryan, what's going to happen with cosine when I move it over here, Ryan? Cosine negative Good, cosine negative 1. So, everybody type that in and then make it degrees, minutes, and seconds. All right, type that in, Max. Cosine negative 1, 0.6894, and then make it degrees, minutes, and seconds. Second cosine, 0.6894. All right, now we got to make it degrees, minutes, and seconds. You remember how I showed you how to do it? Hit second angle. Now let me show you the angles in green right there. See where it says angle? Now go straight to number six. No, just hit six. Okay, hang on, you hit something wrong. From here, go straight to number six, and it says DMS. All right, so what I got, I got 46 degrees, 25 minutes, and three seconds. All right, 16 and 17, guys, are completely different. So I want to make sure you guys are watching. You ready? I don't even know if Mark can figure this one out by himself. He might be all right, so watch. Don't write anything down. Just watch me on this one. All right, look. Unless I show you the shortcut, we're going to have to change that to 1 over tangent. All right, and then we're going to have to cross multiply all this stuff. So we're not going to do it that way. The way we're going to do it, we're going to do the shortcut. All right, here's the shortcut when you do a problem like this. First of all, why do we need a shortcut? Why do we have to change it? Because it's too long. No, we don't have a button for cotangent. We can't do okay. cotangent negative one. Well, couldn't you just switch it? So, and tangent? here's how we're going to change it. What do we change cotangent into? Tan. Tangent. So watch. <coughs> we're going to change cotangent into tangent, but by doing that, Anna, I have to flip this side over here, whereas it was over one, I'm going to have to flip it to that. That's the shortcut. That will keep you now. Mark probably cross multiply. That will keep you from cross multiplying and doing all the three or four steps that go with it. Change that. Make it something on the calculator we can use. But by changing that, we've got to flip the other side. Ask me a question. Okay, let's restart. Let's do that. All right. Well, y'all are really making me work. All right, I'm going to say it again, Sarah. You ready? We don't have a button for cotangent, so we've got to change it to tangent. So when I do that, I've got to flip that side over there. Why do I have to flip that side? Because I changed cotangent into tangent. Okay. So you're changing that. So after you change it to tangent, do you have to do the negative? There you go. Now, after I change it, now I can do it the normal way. I can move that over, make it tan negative 1, negative 1 over 1.164. Yep. 
So really, Ellie? Really, Sarah? We could just not do this second step. You could go ahead and move it over and just make it tan negative one, couldn't you? Because you know it's going to be the opposite. You know, if yeah. you want to skip this second step, I'm fine with that. So now, that's what y'all have to type in and then put it in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So, let's do that. I think you're probably going to have the same answer I got. I got the same answer. But you probably did a lot more work than what we're doing. No, right it's now. really easy. You just plug it in over one and then you do like the negative and then the bottom of the fraction. Yeah, it'd be like one over 10. Hang on, you can one. show me. 1.164. You don't care. You don't he care. Said, I don't care if you guys are right. Um, this is my way. Screw about Boom, boom, boom. All right, I got negative 40 degrees, 39 minutes, and 58 seconds. All right, show me your way. Well, never mind, he missed it. Mark Wade's bogus. Didn't work this time. All right, I think my way's the best way. All right, we got one more. Ellie. Uh, no, this is no test one. No, that's the answer. When you plug that into calculator, make it DMS, it comes up that. Are you thinking negative times a negative? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Well, what I did, instead of putting that on the bottom, I just left the negative up top. 